Hey, it is Saturday and we are in the house because it's computer time. I thought that we would do a little bit of a different Tiki Technical Tuesday and focus on non-clay stuff, namely the new Pearl Diver Library of Libations piece that I'm working on. So I thought I'd start recording today because I am taking my initial sketch into the computer now and getting it ready for laser cutting. And um, it's kind of a cool process and I thought you might like to tag along. So the Pearl Diver started as a very, very rough sketch in my sketchbook. In fact, it started with a rough doodle by Mrs. Van Tiki, which I then did my little version of. And then we took that and hopped onto my iPad where I did some more refined sketches and got it to a point where I was happy to bring it into the computer. So what I'm doing now is I am going through each element that I'd like to put into this Pearl Diver piece and prepping it for laser cutting. So this whole thing gets really fiddly. Um, it's like I'm trying to hold it in my head, thinking about these as actual 3D pieces fitting together. There's a lot of stuff to think about, like the offset. So we have the frame piece up in front, but then the design actually is further back and it's going to be set back and there's to give that illusion of depth. So I've got to think of stuff that's going to be behind the edge of the wooden frame. Ah, so it's a lot to keep in your head. So that's why we do a lot of practice models. Okie dokie, I think I have got all of the layers figured out. Now, the catch is we only can use eight layers on the actual cut. Um, so some of these I'm going to have to blend together with other layers. I have too many layers right now. I've got one too many layers. So I'm going to somehow combine one of these with one of the other layers, but that's where the model comes in. And I'm not going to dive deep into that until I've got a model and I can actually see how these things stack together. All right, so the next step is I got to then take these illustrator drawings and turn them into a, um, what's it called, an SVG file, uh, so I can put them onto the server for the laser cutter. Woohoo! Welcome to the laser room, AKA the garage and shipping room. Um, so yeah, shipping room is right over there. This is the garage half where we have put our wonderful little laser cutter um, change of plans. I'm not going to cut my tests on cardboard. I read that it's quite the fire hazard. So I will be doing all of my cut test cuts with the, um, project board or the, it's the MDF, the thin MDF board. Um, so I've got a piece loaded into the laser cutter now, and I'm going to pop into the shipping room and get the software all started. Okay, uh, it is all set up to go. Once I press this button, the magic will happen. It says it's gonna take 11 minutes to make this cut, so I'm going to either do time lapse or speed this up, but here we go. That's it, that's the first first test cut. I am so excited. Every time I watch this thing, it is just as cool as it is the first time I ever saw this laser go. There is nothing more futuristic feeling than drawing something and then having a robot make it into 3D reality. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. Anyway, we'll get this thing out of here and see how it looks.
Okay, we are back in the shipping room and we've got the cut parts. Now, as you can see, there's still a lot of work to do. These parts, um, the wood that the laser cuts, uh, you can see this is the side that it cut on and there's all the burn and this is the back side. But this uh, wood is coated with like this uh, paper. It's a paper masking that they put on it so that these scorch marks don't go onto the actual wood. So I now have to go through and uh, it's kind of fun, I gotta say, it's a little therapeutic to just peel off all this paper on all the parts. Uh, we'll get these all cleaned up and then we get to start putting them together. All right, so I got all the parts here, all the papers off, and I'm going to just test fit it together, see what we're looking at. Like I said, this is, you know, this is phase one of the seeing what'll work and what won't. I've already thinking in my head of things that I want to change, but anyway, so we hold these guys together with these little um, barrel screws. I think they're also called Chicago screws. I don't know, but they're these cool little screws that go together like that. Um, and uh, they're made out of brass. They're very pretty. Um, anyway, let's see if I can remember what there goes on top of what. All right, well, this is a very good start, but I already see things I gotta fix for the next one. Okay, it is Monday and we are not gonna slip cast today. Um, Denise has gotten a lot of orders for her face masks, so she is downstairs right now sewing them like mad. I'm gonna help her a little bit today, but also today I am revising the initial design for the Pearl Diver to fix some problems that I have. I wanna, I wanna make this as cool as possible. So today I'm gonna do a version two of this, uh, maybe cut some more wood parts and um, see if we can make it even better. Okay, so the majority of the thing I'm gonna cut out of that draft board again, um, but I wanna make two special cuts. I wanna cut the diver herself out of a, um, a matte black acrylic, and I'm gonna cut the pearl out of some of this fancy plastic that we got, which I am pretty excited about. Yeah. So this is what we're gonna try to cut the pearl section out of. I haven't picked all the other colors yet. Now this has got a, a masking uh, plastic over it, so. It's kind of hard to see, but after we cut it, we'll pull the masking off. But check that out. Let's try to give it a cut.
Okay, so here's where we're at. I'm going to try to put together version two. I took apart version one and marked it all with a little V1 so I don't get the parts confused. One part that we are going to use from V1 is this front coral piece. Nothing changed on this image and also nothing changed on the original frame. And here you can see, ooh, that pearlescent came out super, super cool. Um, yeah, and also you can see the uh, that little notch, the little tab. Boop. So hopefully that'll work and hold things together. All right, let's, uh, let's see what we got. I'm liking the new water level already. We did the crab. Yeah. Yeah, like changes are looking good. Okay, so I'm pretty excited about this. It's looking really good. Um, now comes the uh, challenging part of picking colors. I got to pick all the colors uh, for the acrylic. Those colors you saw on the computer, those are just temporary colors. Um, we don't know if the actual acrylics exist in those colors, and we have to make sure we can find acrylics that we can get a hold of. We made a big mistake on the Jungle Bird. I picked a bunch of colors I loved, and when we found out all those colors were discontinued, so we won't even be able to finish the entire planned edition of the Jungle Bird. Um, we're not going to make the mistake this time. Um, yeah, so anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed the, uh, once again, doing a little bit of time travel so you could see a different project. And I hope you enjoyed a non-clay project. Um, we should be back to clay uh, next Tuesday because we're going to be deep in the realm of Puka Pounders. And oh, speaking of Puka Pounders, thank you so much to everyone who ordered one and gave one a home. Uh, we did hold a handful back from the initial sale just so Denise and I don't get completely overwhelmed. And those should be available once we fulfill all the orders. Uh, thank you again, everybody. It means the world to us, the orders. It'll keep us going. And um, yeah. See you next week. <laughs>